Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to look at SEO Power Suite, which is a really amazing tool. Uh, I'm specifically gonna demonstrate how to use it for finding keywords, which I know a lot of us struggle with. Um, but I do wanna kind of explain that um, it comes with a rank tracker, a website auditor, a uh, SEO spy, Spyglass, which is basically a backlink profile ana analysis tool, and then a link building and management tool, which uh, to me is a very valuable piece uh, I'm not going to go into that here. I just want to talk about what a lot of uh, you know agencies and a lot of uh, affiliate marketers really struggle with is finding what to try and rank for, um, what keywords are popular, what's uh, you know some other things that people are using, and how to try and uh, you know utilize those. So um, what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to talk about the pricing before we get into anything. So there is a free tool, free trial. So I do want you to check that out. Um, I'll have a link below, um, and you know by all means uh, you know uh, if, if you do want to start up um, I can get you a discount on it so um, please check out the uh, the link below but more importantly try it for free uh, make sure it works for you uh, they do have a number of different um, you know capabilities as far as free light professional and enterprise uh, most of you will probably only be looking at kind of like the professional or the light um, but either way I just want to kind of cover uh, those first because I think it's important to understand what the pricings are um, again really what we're going to focus on today is focusing on keywords um, but I do want you to kind of understand that there's a lot to this tool and uh, and it's not a, um, a software as a service thing um, it's an actual uh, download to your computer thing so um, I going to demonstrate this for my DIY agency site um, and uh, just pl plugged in some keywords that, uh, that we've been track trying to track um, here and as you can see today's the ninth um, these this was yesterday's date uh, what we're doing is trying to see what we do on Google Yahoo YouTube and Bing um, you know it gives you the ranking pages and again this is just a rank tracking tool that rank tracker um, and so really one of the things I really uh, I love high level as a, uh, a platform as an agency owner um, I utilize it for all my clients um, I'm also a member of their affiliate program so I'm a user of the, of the uh, software um, and I'm a member of their affiliate program and uh, a pretty successful one I make a lot of money from it so I'm always looking for ways to increase my affiliate revenue earnings and I'm always looking for keywords that um, might be relevant to a specific platform and or what other people are doing so we're going to talk about keyword research as we as, as we mentioned. So um, the first and foremost thing what we can do is enter in um, you know what keywords we are currently ranking for and uh, get a feel for that. Uh, I'm not really going to do that here because um, you know there's a lot of tools that can kind of show you what you're ranking for. Um, what I want to kind of find out is you know if I'm looking at a competitor, for example, um, what I would do is I would enter in a competitor's name. Um, so what we're going to do here is uh, just simply go in and type in high level um, review and let's see find a company um, looking for somebody that's not going to be um, so passive secrets would be a great one so congratulations if you uh, own passive secrets um, but what we're going to do is uh, add them as a competitor and what we're going to do is find out what they're trying to rank for um, and uh, as you can see they have go li go high level re review go have high level price they do click funnels Kartra um, Groove, funnel scripts so a lot of the same companies if you're familiar with affiliate marketing if you're familiar with click funnels um, you know they're, uh, they're they seem to be a very big um, click funnels um, and builder all um, so funnel building uh, focused company um, so what it does is it compares me um, where I am versus where they are and uh, where you know where they're ranked what the competition for the keyword is the cost per click if I'm looking to buy that keyword um, and the keyword difficulty so that's pretty sweet um, I can also just connect my uh, Google search console um, which I've done and I'm not going to go into that but I, I, I just want to get some ideas of people that are visiting my website if they're um, you know utilizing certain terms and I'm not familiar um, if I'm not intentionally trying to rank for something, but they're finding my website anyway, it's a great way to find some keywords. Um, keyword planner, um, again, is, uh, you know, this isn't always great. What you would want to do is kind of just get a feel for once you have some ideas on keywords, um, it'll give you an idea of, you know, kind of how many searches there are on a monthly basis, whether it's low, expected visits, keyword difficulty. You can put them in keyword groups and uh, landing page groups and stuff like that. Um, not the best tool, but you know they, they have that everywhere. So that's not really what we're looking for. This is where we start to get into the blood and uh, you know gore of this this thing, where it's really the the, the bones of the of the tool. 
we're looking for autocomplete related searches, related questions, and I really love the TFIDF Explorer, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, but this is where we just want to generate new keyword ideas by autocomplete suggestions from the most popular search engines. So again, when we start to talk talk about high level, um, you know, uh, we'll look at affiliate, um, and we'll do high level review and a high level affiliate program. And that should do it. So while this searches, and again, this is not the fastest tool in the world, but it does a heck of a job, um, in my opinion, as we can see uh, just while talking here, and I, won't, I will probably pause this video at some point. Um, I have yet to do so. Um, but we've already found 337 keywords, uh, and so it's just collecting a lot of information about the keywords, and it'll give you an idea. And now, if you're looking for a set it and forget it and be done and have it do it for you type of solution, this isn't exactly it. This is about research, and research is all about trying to test and figure out what things are working and what's not working, and then just you know keep throwing uh, you know stuff at the wall if you will. So um, you know something that I, I would obviously consider is uh, you know starting to track these things. So I'm going to start tracking these keywords, and it's just as simple as you know if I if I think it's something relevant, uh, I'm going to just go in there and so what will happen is in my rank track tracking it'll now start being there um, so what you want to do is go through and just look at you know keywords that might be worthwhile for you so um, one of the things that I, I definitely uh, wouldn't necessarily be thinking about for high level but something worth searching for or you know adding to my uh, my targeted keywords is highest affiliate programs or because people are going to be looking for high payouts they're always looking for things where they can make um, a lot of money high-end affiliate marketing programs so really if nothing else um, a high percentage affiliate programs because if you're, you know if you're doing affiliate marketing you want to get a big payout a percentage payout so really these are things that might be worth starting to target if not starting to track um, and you can get the number of searches expected visits um, I think that's a pretty aggressive number to tell me that I'm gonna get 30% of these uh, these people quite frankly because that's just only if you're in the number one position um, so I, I think that's it's a little misleading and I think that should be taken with uh, you know with some kid consideration but I can sort these by competition by keyword difficulty stuff like that so again, I've got something like 337 keywords, and I'm not going to go through this all right now. But you know, as you go down there and you start to really get into um, you know some of the different things, like high level affiliate program Japan is obviously more relevant than high level affiliate program Nike. Um, nobody's really going to be looking for that Nike search, um, but if they are looking for somebody in Japan or something like that, that might be uh, be worthwhile um, to just start building content around. And if you're not familiar with how to build content, um, I definitely recommend that you check out one of my previous videos. Um, I've got a ton of content um, generation videos. Um, one of them I just uh, put out is uh, you know, great for, uh, for anybody that's in the affiliate marketing game that's uh, just getting started. So it's an affiliate marketing for beginners um, video and it walks you through A to Z how to create um, a, a content piece on autopilot. Um, that way you can just you know, set it and forget it once you target certain keywords. So. Um, so now we're going to go into related searches at, now that we have our autocomplete ideas. And again, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to be looking at high level um, reviews or affiliate, high level review, and let's just do high level um, affiliate program again. And we'll do search. And again, some of these will work faster than others. Um, so if I do have to pause the video, it's just because uh, some of these do take a little bit uh, of time. It depends on the power of your um, your actual computer, but it also kind of just has to run in the background and access your internet and stuff like that. So um, we're about nine minutes into the video here. Um, so we're gonna try and uh, just let this run um, for another moment here, but if needed, I will pause it and uh, try and speed things up. All right, so uh, this is done, and again, we're just looking for related searches. What you'll find a lot of times here is you're going to find a lot of um, people looking for logins and uh, uh, you know pricing and stuff like that, but um, or support. But really, what you know, some of the things that you're going to really try and find are like high-level software, um, high-level overview. Um, you'll find a lot of different uh, ways of saying it. Um, again. Uh, 
you know, got go high level plans, um, CRM um, reviews, review. Um, so different ways to kind of do things. And again, uh, you'll see cost per click associated with it and keyword dif difficulty. Um, I disagree that some of these are going to be, um, you know, pretty low and uh, competition because I think it'll be very high uh, competition for some of these. Um, but again, you know, it gives you ideas on some of the keywords. And this is always just a research concept. So again, you're not going to just take every single keyword and go after it. Um, but what you're looking for is to spend, you know, 20 minutes to try and do some research, look for some keywords that are worth targeting, and then creating content surrounding it. Um, related questions. Again, we're going to continue to do the same things. So. that and again um, these are going to all be part of a general topic so you know this is just for high level um, you know it, if you're looking to do something on golf if you're looking to do something on you know uh, cameras or uh, you know small uh, small local business stuff like uh, chiro chiropractors um, a gr again a very great tool to kind of just utilize all the different um, you know types of searches, whether it be autocomplete, questions, stuff like that. Um, really good stuff as far as, uh, you know, things that can help you find different, um, you know, different perspectives on what people are searching for and, and the like. Um, the next thing we're going to be looking at while this loads, um, just so we don't have to uh, explain it while it's loading, um, is going to be kind of the um, the term frequency. And what, what, I, what that's going to be is term frequency, and I believe the keyword is inverse document frequency. And really what it's going to be looking at is how often somebody else uses that particular keyword um, in their, uh, their content. So um, again, when we're talking about the keywords that we want to target, um, it'll kind of see what the competitors are using and that way you have an understanding of uh, you know, what you might be missing um, because sometimes we just don't do our own uh, due diligence. We don't look at uh, you know, enough, um, do enough homework um, to kind of understand like, hey, you know, there's some missed opportunities that are out there that other people are targeting and I'm just not, not, not thinking about it. So um, again, a lot of great keywords, uh, numbers of searches here. Uh, I always try and go anything with a thousand to a hundred um, is always good, but it doesn't mean that you can't find some value in high level affiliate marketing. Um, again, this is uh, just the difference of a space and then affiliate marketing might be very well worth it. Um, as you can see, people are bidding on that keyword. Um, I don't do any uh, PPC on, uh, on, on any of these uh, high level stuff because I don't want to get booted from their affiliate program. I'm making way too much money to do so. Um, but you know, what is, um, uh, you know, what does high level review mean is not necessarily great, but um, is high ticket uh, affiliate marketing legit? Is something that might be worth going after? Um, affiliate high commission, not so good, but um, you know, higher level review, high level review, um, high level review meaning high level versus high level. Um, these are things that, you know, believe it or not, will start to, to rank. And uh, the more you rank with Google and, and, you know, find similar keywords, the more likely you are to rank for, you know, high level with a space, you're going to rank well with high level without a space. Um, so again, just looking for concepts here. So to kind of speed up the process, um, I did a little bit of uh, you know pre-work here, um, same different keywords. And again, what we're finding is these are keywords that um, other people are using. Um, how many of my competitors are using you know affiliate, high level, white label, um, you know affiliate link? It just shows me the number of competitors and the frequency of that particular keyword um, in their content. Um, and again, you know, number of searches, all that stuff. So um, some valuable information here um, that other people are, are, are sprinkling in these types of keywords into their content regarding high level. So um, just something that you should consider when you're writing up your content um, beyond just, you know, See, you know, sprinkling in the seed keyword of high level affiliate um, program or high level review. Um, it's important to have stuff like web, website builder, or social media, you know, uh, marketing agency. Uh, these things are relevant. Um, Google will understand that they're relevant to the content that you're putting out there. Um, so it just helps, uh, you know, show um, Google that you have valid uh, content and it's uh, worth, uh, worth exploring. Um, and the final uh, couple things are keyword combinations. And real simple, it's just going to show me different um, ways of uh, utilizing the keywords, high level review, affiliate program. So it just mixes it up. Um, you, know, you can do word combos, you can do misspelled words, stuff like that. 
um, and, and mix it up from there. And finally, there's going to be Keyword Sandbox, which I'm not really going to get into because it's, uh, it's not really relevant in my opinion, um, but you can uh, explore and, you know, again, with this, there, there is support. There's, um, they, they do webinars, everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put a link below for you to try out uh, SEO Power Suite on your own um, with a free trial. And again, if you are going to look at one of their paid plans, um, make sure you utilize the link below to get a discount. Um, and, uh, you know, and again, if you do have any questions, fire them off below. Um, there is a ton of great content, ton of resources. There's a blog, um, but really what I want you to try out is the rank tracker first. Um, you can try out any of them. Um, the next thing I'm really looking to dig into is the link assistant, but um, for the most part, I've been utilizing a tool right now to just pump out a ton of uh, content. And once I have that content out there, that's when I'm gonna start trying to build the backlinks to it. So um, hope this review helped. And uh, again, if you have any questions, fire them below. Thanks.